Hi, this is Grandpa, and welcome to Grandpa's Underworld. Today I'm talking about Brandy K. Janes. She lived in Utah with her husband, Russell Owen Janes, who was 40 years old, and their 12-year-old son, who was a special needs child. Brandy Janes has been sentenced to 15 years for locking her son in the bathroom for at least one year. In August of 2017, Russell turned their son over to the police. Her 12-year-old son weighed only 33 pounds, and he had lost the use of some of his limbs. The boy lived in the second floor bathroom, and it was absolutely filthy. On the outside of the bathroom, there were two padlocks, and the light switch was not only turned off, but was also covered with tape. A baby monitor was set up so he could hear them talk, but they could not hear him. Feces was all over the bathroom floor, the toilet, and the shower. There were a lot of empty bean cans. Brandy Jane admitted to, admitted to starving her son. The boy's two siblings said that he had been locked in the bathroom for at least one year or less. He suffered malnutrition, mental and emotional delays. The 12-year-old wrote, wrote a letter with the help of his foster parents, which were read aloud in the court. In it, he wrote, instead of three meals a day, I would get two hot dogs every other day for months. I felt frozen when I was drenched with icy cold water in the winter. He also says he would like to see his mom again, but he feels safe now that he is, a, that he is away from her. Brandy Janes had set up a video camera with Wi-Fi that allowed her remote viewing from her computer and cell phone, allowing her to watch her son starve. It seems that Brandy Janes was addicted to heroin and meth for at least four months before the boy was found by his father. It was said she was a master manipulator and that Russell James was constantly lied to and was not allowed any type of contact with his son for over a year. Randy James was ordered to serve one to 15 years consecutively for three second degree felony counts. Russell James served one year in jail and 36 months on probation. What a bunch of sick people do we have. That's all for Grandpa's Underworld today. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe, or the notification bell if you want to know when we do this again. And uh, leave a comment if you'd like. Thanks a lot. See you later.